I have here two groups of sequences, the finite sequence and the infinite sequence. What do you think is the difference between the two? Let's talk about it in this new learning video. Hello everyone and welcome to my class. This is our second episode for the sequence topic and if you haven't watched the first one, you can click it here or you can go to the description for the link, okay? So going back to our task that is to identify finite sequence and infinite sequence, I have here examples under each group and all you need to do is to spot the difference. Can you see the difference between the two groups of sequences that I have? Okay, it's very obvious, right? So in infinite sequence, as you can see, at the last part of each sequence, there is these three dots, right? While in the finite sequence, there is none. Have you seen that? Is that also your guess or your answer? I think so, you have seen that. So what do we mean by these three dots? This three dot is called ellipsis. It is a punctuation mark in English, right? That means it continues, no? So meaning our sequence here under infinite sequence, it does not only stop in 13. For the first example, it does not only stop six in 64 for the second and so on and so forth. It means that this sequence continues. Does it have end? No. Since it does not have end, so that's why we call it infinite. No? There is forever. Right? In sequence, there is forever and it is called infinite. How about your relationship, Char? Anyway, <laughs> let's go back to the other side. That is finite sequence. Is there an ellipsis here? As you can see, there's none. But there is this one example having an ellipsis. But after that, there is a term which is 64. So it means that there are terms which are being skipped and then the last term is 64 and the last term here is 13, the last term here is negative 1, and the last term here is 2. So can you identify the number of terms in each example? So for this first sequence here, how many terms are there? One, two, three, four, five. So there are five terms, right? How about number two? Two, four, eight. Since there are missing or skipped terms, we could supply, right? So the pattern here is by multiplying two. Two times Two, four, and four times two is eight, and eight times two is sixteen. Sixteen times two is thirty. Two. So there are two terms being skipped. No, that is in order to have shorter way of writing the sequence. No, to to save space. No, that's the purpose of it. And how many terms? One, two, three, four, five. There are six terms. So meaning. 64 is the sixth term. So here, how many terms? Okay, four terms. Very good. How about here? Also four terms. But in here, it is infinite. It does not end. So, can you answer now the question? What is the difference between finite sequence and infinite sequence? Okay, very good! 
So finite sequence is a sequence having an end. No? While infinite sequence is a sequence that does not end. It has forever. Mm, charot. Okay. So now it's time for you to have a self check. So I have here four items. And all you need to do is to identify whether this given sequence is a finite sequence or infinite sequence. If it is finite sequence, then give how many terms there are in the sequence. And if it is infinite sequence, just write the word infinite. Okay? So number one, we have 3, 6, 12, 24, and then ellipsis. Number two, one half, one fourth, one eighth, ellipsis, and then one over 128. Number three, one, 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 and then ellipsis. And then number four, seven, five, three, one, negative one. Comment down your answers below. And the first three who will get the right answers or correct answers, I will be shouting you out in my next video. I hope you learned something in this video and have a nice day. Bye-bye!